So we have the aftermath of the last episode of people trying to find out about this new white t-shirt guy who was able to defeat them. Of course, the one delinquent who set up mob wants to find out which of the members is powerful. And a really interesting twist there, they didn't want to tell because he, because he doesn't want to be known the fitness group or whatever they're called kept his secret. And I like that. And also get a bit where the delinquent keep asking and in the end he sort of realizes that maybe maybe he should find his own way to be strong. At least that's sort of the impression I got. But of course during all this Mob's brother is wanting to find out about being a psychic because everybody thinks he is the powerful one. But he also wants to clean up the school and the school council president is working on ways to cleaning up the school, but is doing dirty, underhanded things. So the one delinquent is framed by tons of recorders put into his bag and into his desk, and then he's set up to be this pervert who's stealing all the girls' recorders to lick them or something. And he gets in trouble creating this whole situation where they're trying to clean up. And of course, Mob's brother is feeling stressed about it. He, part of him doesn't like it, part of him does. He's upset. And it's really funny because he goes to this group where he got all these low-level experts. Now, one guy can do the flame on trick after a lot of concentration. One guy can bend spoons for a lot of concentration. One girl has 60% accuracy on picking cards, which is pretty dang good because there's only one tenth chance, but it's still not, you know, super level. It's better than odds. And all this keeps happening. And in the end, due to the stress and just frustration, he finally awakens his own power possibly, because you see him throw the spoon, and it's bent all up twisted. I first thought maybe it was because of just being thrown, but it was too twisted. He was able to bend the spoon. And of course, at the end, we get the return of the show's real hero. Get balls! Oh, well, man, I love that. I'm glad he's back. He's one of my favorite characters so far. I was disappointed when he got erased, so I wonder how he survived. But yeah, this is a good show, and I look forward to the next episode. I love the art style, I love the overtop. It's so beautiful. So tell me what you think of it.